Oh, come on, Goku. Let's do this. Come on, let's do this, oh, buddy. Fucking God. Come on, buddy. You see all this shit right here? Yeah. We got to fill in all this shit oh, with stuff, so we still got a lot of stuff to do. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Hi. So, first off, you want to use the amiibo this time, or you want to use the statue? Oh, let's use the amiibo. All right, grab it. I love it. Let me move over here. It, it's the first one. Piece and of let gold. Me... How do you open the box? You just pull the lid off. All right, Zelda. What is that? Zelda and her Skyloaf? This one? Yeah, that's another Zelda. Oh, are they all Zeldas? No, they're just different ones. Oh. I'm just putting them all on Alright, guys, of. I'm doing it. Ready? Ah! <gasps> we what dropped the amiibo! Ah! Got it. We're good. Did you break it? No, it doesn't oh. break. <laughs> I'm coursing with light. It's like magic, you guys. So, like, last I... episode, we beat the imprisoned. Yeah. Yeah. And we were blessed with Brittany's awesome Garko voice. Thanks, and buddy. my nasally Chica not Chica, but Gossip Stone. Stone. My freaking crimson's just all over the place. I don't know how to act. Acting like a fool with your pants on the ground. Yeah. I already know what part is gonna happen. <sighs> kind of. Tomorrow. Moth the day after. Oh, whatever. Yeah. I know. That makes me mad. That's okay. Uh, well, we have the uh, meeting Tuesday night mm -hmm. for wedding. <laughs> I'm breaking the rules. Look at this, hun. Breaking the rules. Really? I'm doing shit ahead of time. Oh up there. damn it! I gotta bring it all the way back around again. Well, that was wild. We ain't done yet. Breaking the rules here. So this is like later part. Rebel. Hell yeah. Gosh. It just goes to show that I know what I'm doing. I did the first time I did this. It took me forever to figure out what the hell I was doing. Yeah, I was like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? And that's why part of me is like, okay, we need to remember where certain things are. So, like, mm. the back of it's glowing now. Yeah, this, I was wondering why it was glowing. This whole island is like one, has like one giant secret. And we're fi we find it out slowly. Really? Yep. <laughs> You'll just have to stick tuned. Stay tuned to find out. I do out not more. like this. Like, what, the fact that everything is shrouded you in secret? don't tell me nothing. Good, it's all a part of discovering the story, the adventure, the love for, for, for mystery. I'm gonna just Google who the old lady is. Ugh. I've already, like, spoiled so much. Not really. Yeah, I'm I not have. picking up on it. Yeah, well, you know, well, I've already explained a lot, too. Like, the Triforce is up there. You want to see part of it? There's only one place like that we've been to that this place even remotely fits. Oh wait, I, I'm, I'm going the wrong dang way. I need to go find the uh, Gapora, Gapora, Gibora, Jimmy Two Shoes, Jimmy Two Shoes, the big eyebrows that goes who? Who? Zelda's dad. Uh, he's, he should be up here somewhere. Nope, that's the bathroom. Oh, he's gotta take a shit! Mm. Doctor... Uh, we have them berries. Nope, not this one. Too many berries. It might be this one right here, yeah. Headmaster Gipporah. Dude's got a big room. Come here. He does. Oh. <laughs> You're back, Link. Good to see you're still in one piece. So, how's it going down there? Are you any closer to finding my Zelda? Like, uh, what? Hmm. Hmm. I see. My dear Zelda. Things must be terrible trying for her down there. 
terribly trying there. I can't speak. Okay. And it can't be easy for you now either, can it? What? Did you want to know the lyrics to the song Zelda sang the day of the wing ceremony? You know I'm not much of a singer. <laughs> sing it! Sing it! Mm, sing it! Listen as I said. Ooh. I wouldn't feel comfortable serenading you. But if it's the lyrics you're after, I can recite them for you. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, youth. Oh, guided youth. Guided by Sing, the... Sing, honey. No, he's not singing it. He's it's just okay, saying It's okay, but we can... That's where we use our imagination. Yeah, I'm not singing in Let's this voice. Let's make it fun. Just try it. Just do it, honey. Come on. Guided I'm... by the servant of the goddess. Unite earth and sky and bring light to the land. Don't pinch me. Ah! No, not sing that. Come on. No. Everybody loves your. I love your voice. That's the first part. That's the first part. As but as I, I recall, recall, there's a second verse to the song. O oh, youth, show the two whirling sails. Oh man, he's doing this like so slow. The he's way to, singing it. to the light tower, and before you, a path shall open. And a heavenly song you shall hear. I believe that's the whole thing. The light tower mentioned in the song is a real place. I'm sure you've seen the tower in the plaza. I don't know a thing about two whirling sails though. It sounds like the song is suggesting that if one shows these whirling sails the way to the tower. Something will happen. But how do you go about doing that? And what does it mean? Two whirling sails. Hmm. You know the thing I just did? Mm -hmm. that, that blowing the thing and the thing turned and glue? Yeah, that's the whirling that, sails. Yeah, that, that's... But there's yeah. a second one. And... There's two. Yep. And I'll show you where the second one is. But the second one won't work. It really? will. It will not work. Not Why today. Not? Because it's a weekend and it's off. <laughs> Do this. Nothing dangerous is happening right now. But still, I need to save. Yeah. All right. So there it is. You see it? Yeah. Right there in the distance. Yeah. We're gonna go run to it real quick. Yeah, it's the second one, but it won't work. This is one of those parts. This is so when we went to the Elden Mountain, you know where our Christopher Walken buddies are. Yeah. Um, I, I said, oh, we got to remember this. We're gonna come back here yes. for an item. Yeah. Uh, the part that makes it work fell down into that territory. A good thing I remember all that stuff. And Bruce. This hey. Yay! What's up, Link? Buddy. Oh. Who's Jackamar? So, you're curious about the windmill, eh? Pretty smart design, I gotta say. See, if you turn the windmill so that it can catch the wind no matter which way it's been blowing. <laughs> but, well, we, there used to be a little propeller attached to the windmill so it could turn it. The thing flew off ages ago. It must have dropped down Don't off the edge. Know. Down beneath the clouds. And now we have to go find the fucking thing so we can reattach it. Are you yep. The windmill's been useless sitting there ever since. Oh, 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 oh. He's got something to say! I highly suggest you retrieve the windmill propeller from the land below to reorient the windmill. I would love to do that. You want to know if I could fix the windmill if you brought it back to a propeller? Well, if I had the propeller, I could probably rig something together to fix it back there. Sure. Yep, I know exactly where to go. Good. But how would you even go looking for the propeller in the first place? Once something falls through the clouds, it's gone. For good. 
Hang on. Come to think of it, Gondo at the scrap shop told me something about a family once used a flying robot to haul junk back from beneath the clouds. But we're talking about a tale that's passed down from a whole lot of years. So I wouldn't put much stock in it. I gotta go talk to the blacksmith guy. You okay? Hmm. What happened to all that good stuff and high energy, huh? Boy, Gorko's gone. Gone, but not forgotten. Are you selling new shield yet? Oh! I'm not reading that dude's dialogue. Aha! He's got the new shield! Alright, I gotta... There you go. You can make her depressed voice. Hello and welcome to the item track. Want to put stuff from your pouch into storage? Okay. Want to take something out of storage? That's fine. So, is there anything in your pouch or in storage you want to move? Uh, Alright, let's see it. Take that and put it here. And finish. Here you go. Okay, thank you. Come again. Hell yeah. Alright. Gonna get this new shield. So amused. Uh, she's definitely bored with her. <laughs> the sacred shield, as you might surmise from the name, it was handed all variety of attacks. Fire? Not a sweat. Electricity? No painful zap. Plus, it's actually repair itself when it sustains damage. It's a little fragile, but it shouldn't be a problem for one who talented agile as yourself. At a cost of 500 rubies, oh god! Uh, no thanks. <laughs> oh wow, he's his base chain. Got mad? Yeah, a little bit. I need to. I wonder if I can sell. Don't worry about it. I'm just gonna try and see if I can. Okay. Oh, I can sell. I get 80 rubies for that. Hmm, for that, I'll give you 80 rubies. What do you say? Yep. Yeah. I need to get the 500. Aha, I got it. Alright, perfect. I'm gonna sell this one too, anyway. Because I don't need those. Once, once I get those shields, it's pretty much like. I guess later on I can buy them just to have them, but. Yeah. But at that point, too, I'm going to want to, like... Alright, alright, alright. Give me the shield. Yeah, yeah, you just explained it. Okay. Ha-ha! And he's in the way. Oh. The customer's always right. Yeah, I know how to re-equip it. Yeah, yeah. Fucking... You jerk. You got in the way of his da-da-da-da moment. Hey, kid! What's up? You look like you need something off your chest. I think I know what it is. You've got a favor to ask me, right? Yes. Huh. It's about the old robot my grandpa used to tinker around with, eh? You probably just came to make fun of a crazy junk guy for believing in his grandpa's stupid stories, right? Well, get in line. I've heard it before. Wait. That's not why you're here. You say you need to pick up something from below the clouds with this robot? Do you mean... Do you know what that means? It means you believe my grandpa's stories too, don't you? Well, I'm happy to hear that someone else believes me. But I don't think I can help you. You see, my grandpa's old robot... What's it called again? Oh, hey, uh, that's right. I remember his name is Scrapper. He may not be much to look at these days, but he was an amazing robot once. When you call him, he would go anywhere to haul anything. Sadly, as you can see now, he's just another busted up old hunk of junk. But old Gramps did tell me this. 
you can get him working again if you extract from an ancient flower. It's like oil to this guy. But I've never heard of such, much, much less seen anything like that. Take mine. Ooh. What? You have one. Are you kidding me? That's amazing. Yeah, now fix him because I need him to work for me. So this is an ancient flower. I can feel s so it feels some slick, oily stuff coming out of the stem. Great. Let me fix some scrapper. Wait right here. Mm. Have him up and running in no time. He's about to get a a simp of a friend. Okay. Yeah. Whoo! There you go. Hey! It's a gizmo boy. Look at him, huh? Look at him. Look at him flying around. Oh, he's so cute. I freaking love the little robo dudes. He's so excited to be back up and running. Thank you. <laughs> I've got a full tank of energy and I'm ready to carry anything. Uh -huh. Thing. Huh? Who is this green clad individual of small stature? Whoa! It talked! I can't believe that. I guess it really did fix him. This kid gave me the materials needed to fix you. Go on. Say thank you. Yeah, I need to teach him manners. Hmm. Are you sure it was him? Well then, I extend my reluctant thanks to you. And a gesture of obligatory gratitude. <laughs> hey now, watch it. That's no way to talk to someone who just saved your life. Anyway, this kid wants you to haul some stuff around and going to help him. Hmm. This individual may have restored my operations, but I am not inclined to offer assistance. <laughs> Serving children is a very low on my task priority. I don't know, he's a teenager. Here you go, hon. Master Lean! The truth from the windmill have yielded a signal. You may search for with your dazzling ability. Use it to locate the fallen propeller. However, it would not be possible to carry the items in your pouch and return to the sky. Uh oh. Who are you? <laughs> your name is V. Can I call you Mistress V? Are you looking for something, Mistress V? I? I understand. At your request, I will carry anything regardless of weight or destination. There you go. <laughs> She's just like, uh. Oh. We now have the means to bring the propeller back to Skylock. He's like dancing. They immediately begin your search for the windmill. Mistress Fee, Mistress Fee. He likes her. He's like, oh. Master Short Pants, I offer assistance. I can now detect Mistress Fee's thought ways. Should we need, should you need ask, should you need me, ask Mistress Fee to call me and I will arrive in haste. Perfect. So, how do you plan to recover all this stuff that fell beneath the clouds? You know, you could always ask the fortune teller to find it there. I know he's kind of goofy looking, but when it comes to finding things, he's always right on the money. Yeah, no, I'm not talking to the damn fortune teller. You know why? Because I know where it is. But that's not the problem. Well, the problem is we're going to have to do this next episode. Oh my gosh, what a killer. Yep, I know exactly where the propeller is. I know where to find it. I know we're going to get it up here. And then I know what happens next. But do you know what happens next, Brittany? Oh, honey, not at all. The only way you're going to find out is on the next episode. Oh, all these surprises. That's why you need to subscribe. Yes. And you should like the video because this is some good stuff. This is some funny stuff. We make this funny. This is gold. We, 
for Goofy. And yeah. Of course. This is good. We're, we're just awesome people. We are. So, yeah. We are. But anyway, everybody, <laughs> we'll we'll see you soon. Stay tuned. The yes. next episode will be coming out. All right. See you. Bye. Bye.